Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're discussing the various reasons for obeying God. This week, we'll deal with one of the biggest reasons, trusting God. When talking about trust in God, three main questions come up, which I'll be dealing with one at a time. Question one, should I trust God? We actually addressed this one a while back in episodes 12, 16, 17, and 18, where we proved that God is timeless, that his will is timeless, that his honesty and his love for his creations are infinite, and that nothing can ever cause him to break his word. So, really, if you met somebody who was infinitely honest, infinitely loving, with an unchanging will, and would never break his word, there would be literally no reason not to trust that person. Question 2. How much should I trust God? The only reason for not trusting a person is how likely it is that they'll betray you or break their word. But God will never stop loving you and never break his word. Therefore, you should never stop trusting him. Like we said in episode 46, trusting God in this way is part of having faith. Question 3. What should I trust God to do? Here's where it gets a little sticky. You should trust God to do what's best for you, whether you like it or not. Often this means you'll wind up suffering. That's just the way fathers treat their children. No father who knows what he's doing would give his son everything he wants. This means, of course, that we can't treat God like a genie. He's not going to just show up and grant our wishes, no matter how badly we may want him to. God just isn't like that. Since we've established that God loves us and wants what's best for us, however, we know that ultimately our final goal is something much more wonderful and fulfilling than any paltry desire we could have in this life. That doesn't mean there's no opportunity to get what we want. What it means is that we can't get it by insisting on it. We need to go along with God's plan for us first. No matter what, we can always trust God to love us. No matter what, we can always trust him to keep his word. We can also always trust him to give us every opportunity to turn to him and accept his mercy. If we take that opportunity and keep taking that opportunity, we can trust God to make us truly happy one day and to give us the happiness and fulfillment that we really want. But that's for another show. That's all for now, so keep asking questions and thanks for watching.